Hello, welcome to this session today. We're gonna to take another look at test question analysis. So we're gonna use the topics today, Fair Housing, ADA, which stands for American Disabilities Act, and ECOA, or Equal Credit Opportunity Act. So we're gonna spend a little time, I'm gonna show you the play on words and, and how to read a question so you don't select what may seem to be a right answer, but is not the correct answer. And it's always a play on words in the question. You know, over the years, after tutoring many, many, many students, I find the number one common denominator that they all have when it comes to passing the test is they didn't read the question. You know the content, you just didn't read the question. So this is what we're going to look at today. We're going to do a little test question analysis when it comes to fair housing, ADA, and ECOA. My name is John Enzing. I'm a real estate instructor, and I'm licensed both in Louisiana and Florida. My specialty is to do one-on-one -on -one private tutoring with you, the student, to prep for the exam, to build confidence, get the content in common law, including contracts, finance, real estate calculation, whatever help you need, civil code, state portion. I'm here to do one-on-one -on -one training to prep you for the exam. Non-credited hours, okay? It's just, just getting you ready for the exam. If you wanna schedule some time, you can go to privatetutoringsession.com that's privatetutoringsession.com and book you some time. Or you can email me at john.enzing at gmail.com. All right, let's dive into this. Test analysis on fair housing, ADA, and ECOA. All right, here we go. So you may have a question similar to this. Which property is not covered under the Fair Housing Act? So they give you a list of properties. Single family homes owned by a development company, single family home listed by a real estate broker, commercial real estate, government owned residential property, okay? So this can kind of be a little bit complicated. It's not such a straightforward fair housing question. Um, uh, you know, there's a lot of objective type questions. This is more of a subjective and you gotta sit back and you gotta think a little bit and you gotta unpack a few things that I'm gonna show you here. So here's some rules you wanna know when it comes to Fair Housing, ECOA, and ADA, okay? So you wanna have these um, and understand what they say, okay? So here we go. First of all, you have to understand that fair housing applies to housing, okay? So the Fair Housing Act was designed to provide and not discriminate against people when it comes to housing. That's the key word, housing. Single family, multifamily residential housing, only okay so when it comes to housing whether it's purchasing leasing whatever the agreement is housing dwelling points for people to stay in that the fha the fair housing act was established to prevent discrimination against that okay so you want to understand that fair housing goes with housing residential single family and multifamily. now here's a nice little memory aid that i want to review with you it's called fresh corn okay fresh corn is a uh, memory aid that i like to use and uh and and that describes the classes which we cannot discriminate against okay now to go through fresh corn the first f is familiar status then r in fresh stands for religion now there's nothing for e so i just put an x over the e S stands for sex or gender, H is handicap. Then I go to the corn, C is for color, O, nothing for O, so I put an X over O. And then R is race, and N is national origin. So I got familiar status, religion, sex, handicap, color, race, national origin. A great memory aid called fresh corn, okay? So if you want to, have a good way of looking at your uh, classes in discrimination against fair housing. Fresh corn is a good memory aid. Now, let's move on. ADA, what is ADA? What well, stands for the Americans Disability Act? That applies to commercial property or public access, okay? There's no housing involved when it comes to ADA, so it's public access to commercial property, okay? Now, so when it comes to discrimination against uh, commercial property, that all falls under the ADA or the Americans Disability Act, 
Okay. Now, if commercial property, pay attention to this, because this could be another type of question to ask, but if commercial property provides housing, okay, remember the key word is housing. If, if a commercial property does provide a dwelling or a housing place, then it will fall under Fair Housing Act or FHA, okay? But as long as it's a commercial, like a restaurant, retail store, all those types of accesses for the public falls under the American Disabilities Act. Now, if the commercial property is going to provide housing, then it's going to come under fair housing. Okay, so you have to really read the question and, and be careful on the play on words when it comes to that. Now, what is ECOA? ECOA is called the Equal Credit Opportunity Act. This simply has to deal with lending, okay, when it comes to lending money. Now, under ECOA, and, and especially in the mortgage industry, when lending for housing, ECOA has the same fair housing as as the uh, fair housing they use the same classes in the fair housing but then they've got three extra ones once one is marital status age and public assistance okay so the real big difference between fair housing and e and ecoa or equal credit opportunity act is the marital status age and public assistance that goes with ecoa it does not go with fair housing okay so you want to make note of that because you could get a question also on the state exam, it says which of the following below, um, you know, discrimination deals with ECOA. And they may give, you know, however many uh, different types of possible discriminatory, and then they'll put either marital status, age, or public assistance in there, uh, which will define uh, that being the answer, okay? So ECOA uses the fair housing, uh, classes, the fresh corn, plus they have an additional marital status, age, and public assistance, okay? Now, let's go back, and I want to show you the play on words here. It says, which of the property, and I'm going to underline this, is not covered under the Fair Housing Act? Now, this is a very important concept to understand when you're reading these type of test questions. For me, and I encourage you to do this, you have to stop for a second. And you got to go over to your scratch paper. So you're going to have some scratch paper for the exam. And you want to write a few things down. So what I do on my scratch paper, and when I read this question, which property is not covered, I'm going to make a note. And I'm going to say three of the answers are covered under fair housing. One answer is not covered under fair housing. I want to distinguish that. That way I can appropriate my answers to know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for three that are fair housing, um, uh, discriminatory possibilities, and one answer that is not, okay? Because this is the question. They're wanting to know which property is not. So I got three that are. So if I go through these, single family homes owned by a development company. Again, we're talking about housing. That falls under FHA, Fair Housing Administra uh, Act. Single family home listed by a real estate broker. Could be for lease or it could be for sale. It's listed, so that falls under Fair Housing Act. Commercial real estate. Well, we know commercial real estate by principle falls under ADA. And there's nothing that mentions, now pay attention to this very carefully. If it were to say commercial real estate with housing, yes, that would be one, but because it just says commercial real estate, we're talking about a restaurant or a retail store, that falls under ADA, which is the American Disability Act. And then government-owned residential. There it is again, residential or housing. Again, we're talking about Fair Housing Act. So A, B, and D are the three that I'm looking for that are fair housing. The one that doesn't fit into this is commercial real estate. So we're talking about answer C. Okay. Very important that you don't get twisted with this, which of the following is not or which of the following below is false. You, you, you want to make note of this. And the way I do it is I separate my answers. I got three answers that, in this case, three answers that are fair housing, and I'm looking for one that's not. And, and it lines up, and I'm able to really make sense out of all the answers now, okay? Hey, listen, I hope you enjoyed this small session. When it comes to test question analysis, we're talking about fair housing, ADA, and ECOA. Again, if you need some private tutoring, go to privatetutoringsessions.com, privatetutoringsessions.com. Good luck on your exam. Bye for now.